What is up YouTube? Welcome back to Bike Hub Japan. So today I'm going to take you on a quick tour of a Japanese liquor store. So the reason for that is because I need some supplies because a mate of mine, Stevie in Canada, who runs a channel called The Military Biker, has got a live stream coming up soon, which I'm going to join. And generally speaking, the topic of conversation is beer and bikes. So usually all the other guests on the show I've bought some kind of special beers or special drinks like some locally brewed IPAs or something and then they show it to the camera and say hey, I'm drinking this tonight and blah 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 and so I kind of felt left out now the only bummer for me is because in North America it's Friday night when he does the live stream for me it is Saturday morning so even though it's like 11 o'clock in the morning and I should be just drinking coffee or juice or something I sort of feel obliged to have a drink so Basically, I'm just going to do a supply run now. So for, the, for those of you who don't know who Stevie is, he runs a channel called The Military Biker. Oh, ambulance. And uh, yeah, he's a British guy who lives in Canada, uh, rides a Harley Davidson, supports Liverpool Football Club, but don't hold that against him. And uh, he's literally, about a week or two ago, just retired from the army. So thank you very much for your service, my friend. So yeah, like I said, um, liquor store, or you might call it a bottle if you're in Australia or an off-license in England. we got them everywhere, but in Japan, you know, they tend to do things a little bit different. So I thought you guys might be interested to see what a Japanese off-license liquor store bottle looks like. So obviously in Japan, we've got all the main stuff that every other country has, lots of beer, lots of whiskey, lots of vodkas and stuff like that. But what you probably won't know is some of the other drinks like uh, what everyone in the West would call sake. It's actually pronounced sake. So make sure you pronounce that right, sake. So over here it's called Nihonshu. So there'll be lots of Nihonshu sake drinks in the, uh, in the shop. And there's also, quite, it's quite popular in Japan to have kind of like an alcoholic fruity drink, which we call chuhai. So that could be orange, it could be grapefruits, it could be lemon, it could be anything. But they're um, kind of like a refreshing summer drink, but they're pretty popular all year round. And some of them are actually quite dangerous. So the drinks here uh, range in alcohol content from like say 3% all the way up to like 11% for the chew highs. So you can be having a, a fizzy lemonade that's 11% alcohol and you know you have two of those things and you feel it. Trust me on that. I've actually got a funny story about that. When, um, when my mum came to Japan, my parents came to Japan for my wedding, um, my friend Hiro, Japanese guy, is a He's an evil bastard, like in a good way. But he told my mum that it's a Japanese tradition to drink uh, flaming sambucas and whiskey that was set on fire through a straw. And my mum, being the polite English lady that you can probably imagine she is, didn't want to upset my friend by not obeying the Japanese cultural rules. So she was downing fucking shots of sambuca and flaming whiskeys and stuff all night long because she was, you know, trying to put up a good front that us Brits are, uh, you know, respect other countries' cultures. And she got absolutely wasted. Uh, so this is after the wedding, right? This is like the after party. And uh, the next day, my parents had like a, a week-long train pass where they could go anywhere in Japan that they wanted for a, f a fixed price. And if you guys ever come to Japan, you should definitely get one of those. You can literally travel right from the north, right to the south, and the cost doesn't change. You've got one week of unlimited travel. So my mum texted me in the morning about nine o'clock saying, hey, we're just on the train to Kyoto. We're just waiting at Nagoya Station for our train now. Uh, and I've just, I've just bought some snacks from the shop and bought some drinks and yeah, it's all good. So I hope you have a nice day, that kind of thing. I was like, oh, okay, mum, yeah, have a nice time. We'll see you in a week. And um, about an hour later, she messaged me saying, I'm fucking drunk. <laughs> and I said, what do you mean you're drunk? It's only 10 o'clock in the morning. And what had happened is the aforementioned Chuhai that I just told you about, my mum just looked at the can, 500 mil, mil can, it's got a picture of lemon on it and it says lemon. So my mum just figured it was lemonade. So she drank two of them, so a litre of this stuff and they're 9% alcohol. But they're, they're, you really can't 
taste it and especially if you're hung over like my mum was you probably just would have thought it was lemonade so she downed two of these at about 9 30 in the morning on the train and by 10 o'clock she was drunk again and she messaged me saying what did i just drink um so yeah it is a, a rather dangerous drink so you, you should be careful oh hello what's this old boy oh is it is it open is it open i hope it's bloody open so yeah chew high make mental note if you come to japan be careful about chew high my bike okay here hope so all right let's go in the store oh dear so this one is called liquor mountain Sharp. so yeah i'm going to talk quietly now so i don't get embarrassed but uh so as you can see here this section is all the canned drinks so on the left here you've got uh whiskey drinks so whiskey and soda which is what i like so i'm going to grab myself a couple of these suntory highballs so you can buy them singly for 150 yen or with tax 165 or you can buy a six pack of them so most of those are whiskey um, but here you can see this one's lemon sour 10 percent that will get you fucked up pretty quickly same as well like the ones that say strong on them strong dry nine percent alcohol and this one's a cheap cheap own brown one only 83 yen so it's like super super cheap and uh, yeah as i said about fruits you got peach strawberry pineapple grapefruits lemon all sorts of different flavors and then you got the tall boys here the 500 mil ones um yeah wilkinson as well that's like a famous um uh what do you call it fizzy water carbon carbonate carbonated water but with whiskey all right so come over here we got the champagnes champagne again very cheap i would say compared to other countries um, I did a, another live stream recently where I was walking through a convenience store and uh, I showed the guys a bottle of Jack Daniels and they couldn't believe how cheap it was compared to Australia. So here we got the whiskies. All sorts of Scottish and Irish whiskies here. Again, not too bad prices. I'll pick some drinks to show you the prices that you guys will definitely know for sure. But yeah, you can see the wine as well. Lots and lots of wine. So let's pick a whiskey that everyone will like. Oh yeah, and also you can buy whiskey in four litre bottles, which is crazy. Make sure you're careful when you say this one in the bar, Nicker. I actually saw a black guy have a fight with a barman because he said Nicker. And the guy said, why are you being racist? And he said, no, it's, it's whiskey, Nicker. So yeah, be careful about that. Um, where's one that everyone will know? Just to compare the price. Where's Jack Daniels? I'm looking for JD. Jack, where are you, Jack? Hmm. Ah, here we go. So, for comparison, one litre of Jack Daniels is 2,728 yen. So I'll put that on the screen while that is in the... Uh, Western money, but yeah, big old bottle and it's plastic as well. Pla that one's glass, that one's plastic, glass, glass. Yeah, but there are a lot of plastic bottles over here. So, yeah, here we got some Japanese ones as well Kobe Brandy, brandy product of Kobe, Japan, quite expensive. Yeah, so that's uh what the bad stuff is and the soft stuff is over here the beers let's have a look at the beers but yeah you can literally get anything cassis campari kalua malibu jägermeister anything you can think of this shop has got and also they sell groceries too so you can buy tabasco and stuff oh here's a new tabasco hiroshima lemon spice 
you can buy some anchovy paste oh no thank you some chips some pasta yeah pretty much anything you need in one store for all the alcoholics who don't like going to the supermarket get yourself some biscuits get yourself some chips some chocolates yeah and here's the non-alcoholic section all the drinks here are non-alcoholic including the wine you see that non-alcoholic and zero zero calorie zero alcohol and zero pudding I'm not sure what pudding means anyway here's the foreign beers Duvel Chimé and uh, some IPAs that I've never heard of and some sausages as well you want some frankfurters we got you covered boy cheeses you want some camembert right so the ones that I quite like are these ones devil's beer these are actually pretty good so this is a Japanese IPA um, which one should I get I think I had this one before it's quite nice devil's beer I think I had a lucky I think I had a lucky chicken last time but I think I might try a lucky cat what's a lucky cat light body it says well let's try a light body and yeah here you got some more of those other drinks I was telling you about obviously these ones are refrigerated whereas the other ones weren't yeah juice as well you want some coke and some ginger ale Pepsi Zero some tea some tomato juice is popular why they got so much of that hmm interesting oh yeah and this it's called cow piss which the way they say it sounds like cow piss which is really popular with kids it's like a milk based drink that you just um, mix with water like a cordial but yeah the way they say it sounds hilarious do you want to drink some cow piss? Oh, nothing I'd like more than some cow piss. Right, so here we've got these ones, the boxes, the cartons. And this is what I was saying is Nihonshu or Sake. So all kinds of different ones. I actually quite like this one, the red and white one, which is the same as this one. It's actually pretty good. I only drink it in winter though. Um, Japanese microwaves actually have a setting for, for uh, heating sake. So, you know, it's super popular here, so. And the ones that the tramps and the homeless people drink are these ones in the cups. Again, the microwave has a setting for that, so you just pull the pin, put it in, and on my microwave it's number three, and then you set the size, and then it just heats it up to a perfect, like, 50 degrees. So it's pretty nice in the winter. Warm your cockles. Over here as well, we've got more of it. Lots more sake and here as well as you can see the sizes are freaking massive for a nation of small people they do like their big drinks so yeah I think I'll get myself a few more of those highballs as they're my favorite yeah look at this some of these are gifts as well tank number 2086 so a lot of them come in kind of gift gift boxes like this or wrapped which is nice obviously you can get bottles of beer as well kirin lager i think i'll i think i'll get myself a few more highballs and as you can see here you can buy them in uh slabs i guess you would say can't think what the proper english is but yeah you can get 24 cans for 4,700 yen again I'll try and put the prices up Budweiser 4,158 yen for 24 bottles you can also get yourself a nice little camping chair while you're in it how convenient so what did I get I got four right so I'll save these two posh ones for the live stream and just for today I'll get myself another high ball I'm quite partial to these as well, these lemon sours, but not three percenter. Let's go for a seven percenter. Nine is dangerous. I'll avoid the nines. Alright, let's go and pay. 
I've turned the front screen off my GoPro so they hopefully won't know I'm filming. Oh, it's a girl as well. Lucky you, boys. Hey, guys, you must. Ah, that's you, this. Kill mask was let a car helmet or so mama. Anzen kana. えっ、ー、と、ないですけど、カード、カードでお願いします。はーい。はーい。あ、ここね。はーい。はい、ございまーす。ございましたー。はい、さあ、I think we'll end the video here. But did you notice? Did you notice that I didn't have to sign or put a pin number in or anything when I used my card? That's one of the things that really freaked me out about this country the first time I came. The cashless thing, or whatever you want to call it, is just mental here. You could literally just find a credit card on the floor. And go and use it with no security concerns whatsoever. Oh, a scooter incoming. Alright, guys, so that's a quick tour of a store which is known in Japan as Liquor Mountain. I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao for now. No wheelies today. See you guys. Bye bye.